Over the last decade or so, I've used dozens of different online business softwares, website softwares, funnel building softwares, things like that, and I've seen some really, really poorly done things. So when I heard that there was a software out there that offered pretty much all of these things for free, I'm gonna be dead honest and say that I was very, very skeptical coming into this, but I had a few people tell me that I should try this out. A few people that I really trusted tell me that I should try out system.io, and I spent the last few days diving in and kind of learning more about this product, and so in this video, I wanna go over everything that I've learned, everything that you need to know if you're thinking about signing up for system.io. We're gonna look really specifically at the free plan and see exactly how it all works, what all you get on that free plan, whether the UI looks good, works good, whether everything works well, and you can actually run a business for free, you know, in the very, very beginning on this product. Then we'll kind of talk about the different pricing plans they do have, what it is that you can potentially pay more for, and uh, we'll uh, give an honest opinion at the very end of my thoughts on system.io. All right, so first thing here is they really do offer everything that uh, you, you do need for free in the beginning. You can see right here, I've got funnels, I've got email marketing, marketing, I can create my blog, I can create a website inside of my funnels, I've got all kinds of automations that I can use that connect my funnels and my emails and all that stuff. I can add products, digital products and regular products, I can create courses inside of here, I can create communities inside of here, I can run my own affiliate program, invoices, so, so far it seems like I've got options for pretty much everything inside of this. So we're gonna look specifically at a few different things and uh, see what they look like, see how the UI works and if everything actually functions as it's supposed to. Right here we're looking at the funnels. Um, when I go in to build a funnel, you can see I can easily build a funnel. It shows the funnel on the left, essentially what's happening, the steps of the funnel on the left right here. And then you can do all kinds of things with automation, A-B testing, see stats, see sales, leads that came through here. I really love that you could set deadline settings where you can say, hey, I'm, this is a sale, right? This is going to be over in a few days. And so I want this funnel to end and then send them somewhere else at the end or something like that. So I'm here inside of the actual editor and it's very similar to a lot of different drag and drop editors that I've come across, uh, which is good because if you've been in the, the business or the drag and drop editor business for a while, you can easily pick up on how it all works. You can see it's got columns, it's got sections. You create a section and then inside of that correction, you create a row and then inside of those rows, you add all these different elements right here. You can see different things like forms and text and images and things like that. Now, a couple things that I really like about this, you can see there's a back button. I love having a back button where I can mess up and easily fix exactly what I did. It also has a mobile and a desktop version that I can easily swap between. And when I go inside of each element, I can easily check or uncheck desktop or mobile. All right, now when I go into my emails, the main email section doesn't have, so I use ActiveCampaign for my main email, and you can see right here, I can I can create email sequences, I can create delays where the emails will go out one after the other, and it can be sent at specific times, you can have it not send on specific days. I really love actually that it's all just sitting here on the right, so I can create my email, create all the rules really quickly that go along with that email. It also has all kinds of personalization options that you can add right here, so you can tag contacts with different things, and then I can personalize my email. You can see in, in this kind of stuff right here. Now, at least inside of the email section, it's nothing like Active Campaign, where there's just massive amounts of automation and rules, and, and really you can make this thing as complicated as you could possibly want. But for a vast majority of businesses where we want to capture an email, we want to send out a sequence, and then move them maybe into another sequence, and then put them in a list, real stuff like that, like normal email marketing, it can do all that really easily. And, and these are honestly the really important things that you can do right here on the right. Now you can also create a blog directly inside it. You can see right here, I made this in about five minutes. I had ChatGPT write the actual article for me, and then uh, it just has a template, a bunch of different templates that you can run with and create blogs. Now I'll be honest, I typically build blogs inside of WordPress because of plugins and things like that, uh, but if, if your blog isn't gonna be your main stream of income, you just wanna have a blog as part of your business, very, very easy to use and create blog posts. I should pause and add that I will leave an affiliate link down below that you can click and sign up for system.io at any time as you're watching this video. Yes, it's an affiliate link. Yes, that's how this channel gets paid. Yes, it's still my honest opinion. Now, I'll be honest, I got really excited when I saw they had an entire automations tab and they have workflows. So you can log in and you can create workflows. This is a simple one I'm showing you on here. Um, but essentially what a workflow is, is you can create triggers and you can create actions. So you say, hey, when this happens, for example, when someone buys a course or registers for a webinar or signs up for my free lead magnet, right? All these things are actions that people can do. And when they do that, you can have it send them through these workflows. You can say, hey, enroll them in this course and then subscribe them to this email email campaign. So I can offer a free course, give them the course, give them the email campaign that I start dripping out to maybe upsell them to some of my higher ticket products. And then I can do uh, splits as well. So I can say, hey, did the contact do this? Did they click a link in the email? Did they, you know, do they live here? 
have they purchased anything from you before? You can split based on all those things and you can actually send them in different directions and have different things happen to different contacts depending on where they're at in your sales process. Honestly, these automations are very cool, very exciting. I think they're very powerful and I, I was watching them all and, and they all seem to work in all my tests. I looked at some reviews and things like that. They all seem to be working well. A really a big fan of the automations and I think the reason they're so powerful is because you can run everything inside of systems. So you can have your course hosted in here. You can run your webinar inside of here. You can run your all of your email marketing through here. And so everything's able to work really seamlessly with each of the contacts as they move through your sales process. And the last thing I want to look at is you can actually create courses directly inside of it. And you can see right here, this is what the customer would see. I created a quick course just to get an idea of what my customers are seeing. You can add videos, you can add headlines. Um, it does track them as they go through the course. You can see it'll, it'll show where they go. You can add multiple modules and multiple lectures inside of each module. Then you can add text and links and kind of overviews under it. So I use Thinkific for my courses typically. Thinkific's got a million options, right? It's like all it's built around. But if you wanna be able to just create a course, have modules, help have people be able to you know, sign up easy, track what they're doing through it, get access to video and text content, this is great, can totally do it and work seamlessly inside of every other part of your business. Now going over the overall UI, I really enjoyed the UI. The one downer I would say, sometimes it seems to take a few steps to do things that I wouldn't necessarily want to take a few steps. So you, you kind of have to go in multiple times to see blog posts and then you can see each blog post gets activated or deactivated separately. Sometimes I would want to kind of mass edit and mass do things like that. But besides a few extra steps occasionally, it's a very easy to use layout. You can see right here, I can always figure out how to like create things and how to, you know, everything just looks really simple and really easy to use. So if you're a beginner and you're kind of overwhelmed a lot of times by technology, I think it's a really well built for that. A couple other things that I dug a little deeper into, I went to Trustpilot to see how their customers feel about them. <laughs> Wow, 4.9 out of 5, 2,000 reviews. They seem to be doing very well and it seems that the customers are very happy with them. I haven't had any reliability issues and as I scrolled through a lot of these, it doesn't look like there's any reliability issues as far as servers going down, things not working the way they're supposed to. Everything seems to work exactly like it's supposed to for me and it looks like a lot of other people as well. Now, I also ran it through a page speed test. So uh, most people know if you're running ads, you've got blog posts, things like that, you want very fast pages or you're gonna see problems. You can see right here, it's not perfect, but I would say it's definitely good enough. So it got a B. I ran a couple blog posts through it. 88% out of 100. No one gets 100 on these things, but uh, I think that's fast enough that you can run ads to it. You can do everything you need to, and you're not going to have any major speed issues. The entire page just took a couple seconds to load, but it actually loaded in a smart way, which means that it loaded enough that users could start seeing and interacting with the page in less than a second, which is what you want. So you're probably looking at this like I was and saying, how is all of this being offered for free? This is a pretty intense, robust software for them to do. And I wondered that as well. You can see right here, looking at their pricing, they have a free plan plan and they have a couple of really budget friendly plans right here 27 a month 47 a month but their most expensive plan being 97 a month now you can see right here all the stuff that we showed you on here from emails to funnels to blogs courses all of that is available on that totally free plan on the far left right here the only time you start to see where those paid plans start to come into effect is you can see when you when you start to grow your business you want more automation rules you want more than one workflow right you want to be able to, to use a bunch of different tags and email campaigns and things like that that's when you start to see when you start to pay, which is great because essentially they're saying if you're a brand new business, you haven't made a single penny, you know, you're on your first funnel, you can use this free plan and start building. And once you start making money, then you start to grow and add options, add new funnels, add new workflows, tags, contacts, and that's when you start to pay. And I really like that pricing model where they're letting beginners pay nothing while they kind of learn the ins and outs of the business. And once a business starts to grow, then you start to pay. The only thing I didn't see on the free plan was webinar. So if you are running webinars, you would need to upgrade to that webinar plan right there, which would be $47 a month, which is still really good if you're running webinars, you're probably making a lot more than $47 a month. There will be an affiliate link again down below that you can sign up for. And thanks so much for watching this video.